uh, when, when, I, when I took over the, the lead of the school back in August 2013, the, the, the staying on rate from fourth year into fifth year was about 50%. So roughly half of our fourth years left school at, at the end of, of that year. And uh, my, my vision for the school was that every single young person should stay on until the end of sixth year so that when they leave the school, they, they leave with a portfolio of qualifications, experiences, skills and a knowledge of the job market so that when they finally leave the school, they actually enter a sustained positive destination. First, I think it's important to, to say that um, developing the young workforce, we engaged with the Wood Commission initially and they um, followed and tracked our journey through the consultation process and they delivered education for all from our school. Um, so I think we're in a, in a strong position with regards to developing the young workforce. We have over 30 businesses connected to the school in some form or capacity and that ranges from CV writing, interview skills. We're looking to implement business breakfast. Uh, we're looking to implement a business database which will inform and help next steps for youngsters at coursing time as well. On a Wednesday afternoon, we put S2 and S3 together and they are taught skills elective workshops. These are run by businesses if we can manage it or by staff who have an interest in that subject. So for example, we have a Nailed It course where students learn to do their nails with a teacher who is really interested in that linking with Edinburgh Telford College. These students will then go on to do college courses in senior school and end up in S6 by doing a pre-apprenticeship with Charlie Miller, the hairdresser. So there's a clear journey to work from S2 to S6. Hundreds of courses you can do during co like at college, the pre-apprenticeship, even stuff in school done by the teachers here. In fourth year, I was planning on leaving school to go to the army thinking, I don't need qualifications, I've got to the army, that's me for life. And doing, all, like, doing the apprenticeship and realising, oh, I've done that in school, I've done that in school, like, I know how to do this and that. So it has really helped. We're looking to incorporate our primary school. So this year we're consulting with uh, our feeder primary schools so that we've got an employability core thread from early all the way through to post school. And that's been taken up by our primary schools really positively. With regards to timetable and the, the uh, developing the young workforce, the pre-apprenticeship or employability strands, which is um, e extended work experience, um, it hasn't really been a challenge, um, to be honest because it's viewed equally to maths, uh, English, and it's actually a subject choice for our youngsters. That's the high level priority that we place on it. Um, so on a Tuesday and a Thursday afternoon, youngsters have an opportunity to go to college and experience uh, my world of work, but equally they could go to a business. So it's a timetable choice. The, the theory behind it is very basic. You have students coming into the hotels um, alongside their um, other curricular choices can you come up with a plan, a timetable, for students to um, work alongside other staff members within the Apex and learn the hospitality industry and also the Apex way? So when I was at Scottish Gas, I've got a real understanding of graphs that you wouldn't really understand in school. And um, when you're sitting in a classroom and you're learning stuff about graphs, you don't really pick up, you don't think you've got to use it in the future. But then when you use it in a workplace, you realise how, how much they use the stuff and how much it's important. We are very proud to, to be seen as, as one of the, the schools that have grasped that, that DYW way forward. And uh, certainly the, our partner businesses and the employers that we, we work very closely with uh, see us and, and our approach uh, as an excellent example of, of how to take DYW into the curriculum and, and really have a positive impact on young people.